Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at the filament sensor on the GTEC Giant Arm B200. Uh, I want to test it out, see if it actually works, and see if I can actually recover the job after the fact. Now, right now I have a model printing. I actually, I don't have any plans on, on letting this model finish, to be honest with you. But uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and switch out and I'm going to cut the filament on the back side of it so we can see if the, it'll actually run out and detect the run out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back side of it here. I'm taking out my cell phone. I've just poked the record. So what you're going to see is a side-by-side -side comparison here of, of what's going on in the front and what's happening in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little clippers here and I'm going to clip it. Now let's see what happens once it runs out. It's running out pretty fast. So somewhere inside that block is supposed to be a switch. So it's going to be interesting to see if it actually works. Okay, it just detected the run out. So let me go run around here to the front. Let's take a look at what the message says on the front. Print job has been paused as no filament was detected. Please check the filament and resume printing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to run to the back and I'm gonna throw some black filament into it so that you can see the recovery on it. Let me go ahead and back this out and raise this up. There we go. And just to warn you, I'm in my work clothes today. I just got off the job, so I'm trying to get everything ready for going on vacation soon. <laughs> so I'm taking the filament off that was on there. Let's just go ahead and put brown. Yeah, that will be a nice color to see the difference. So I'm going to feed the filament up through the sensor, through the Bowden tube. Oh, it'd help if I remove the rest of the filament that was already there. So actually what I'm going to do first, let me go ahead and lower this camera back down. So you can see the screen. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the nozzle again. By just touching that nozzle, it takes that line off it. That should heat it back up. Now, I can raise this back up. And let's let it warm back up so I can go ahead and remove the filament. <coughs> See if I can get a little bit closer here. There we go. Okay, so I'm up to 178. I should be able to go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to extrude a little bit of plastic and then I'm going to pull it out and that cleans the nozzle out. So you can see right there, well, you can't really see it. It's got pretty much the shape of the nozzle right there. So let me go ahead, lay this back over there, and I'll run the new filament through. Let's see. Pop the Bowden tube back into its holder back there. There we go. Straighten it out just a hair. Try to do it so you can see it on camera. <laughs> I'm just going to have to do it. There we go. Once it's fed through, 
I just want to go ahead and extrude some through to make sure that the temperature is going to be about right and it feels about right. Put the bone tube back into it. Bring it back down here. Go home and print. So this should be brown filament coming through. And other than the one little booger that's there on the by the toes it looks like it has recovered completely. I'll go ahead and let this layer finish and then we're going to go ahead and call it successful hopefully and That looks to be a successful recovery. So there we have it. The filament sensor does work on it and it allowed me to recover the print. So that's cool. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care.